These floor lamps are a setup game changer. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Bermuda RGB color changing floor lamps. Let's get into it. So we go ahead and open up this box, which looks pretty good. Got the charger, remote, pieces of the lamp, everything looks pretty standard. Um, so if we look at the remote, it looks pretty good, feels pretty nice. It's got all the buttons that you need on there. The only thing is that it does not come with batteries. Batteries are not included, but luckily I did buy these batteries from Amazon. I got a whole box of these AAA batteries, so you should definitely check that out. Might leave a link in the description for those. And we see here, it looks like all we have to do is just assemble the lamp together and place some screws in with an Allen wrench to hold the legs down. So here's the package of screws. Looks like they also came with a few little stickies on there to make sure that it doesn't scratch against your hardwood floor. All right, cool. So basically you just take the legs and you insert them onto the lamp with the screw holes facing downward. Um, I found that it was a lot easier to put the screws in if you attach it to the Allen wrench first and then put them into the lamp. Makes life a whole lot easier. So I'll go ahead and get all of these screwed in now and be back with you in a second. All right, so for this leg, this one has the actual adapter running through it. Um, I kind of pulled it out a little bit first so that I could make sure that I had enough space to plug it in the right way. Once you get the adapter plugged in, you can give a slight tug to the back of the cord so that you can get rid of the slack and then you can finish assembling the rest of the leg. So they give you these little stickies to make sure that you don't scratch against your hardwood floors. Um, you just push those on there on the three different endpoints of the lamp and you're good to go. So after you put in these screws, I was a little worried that this wouldn't be enough to really hold it down, but after giving a pretty decent tug, they didn't come apart. So the quality of these things are definitely solid. So looking at this thing, I mean, it's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely not bright enough to like light your entire space, but as like mood lighting, these things are perfect. Um, they definitely cover the entire spectrum and the remote has a little color wheel on it where you can do your best to dial in the exact color tone you want. Um, there is a brightness function where you can turn the lights down, you can turn them up, they go in a pretty decent incremental steps. So there is a button on the remote to cycle through all of the different modes of the light. I haven't been through all of them just yet, there's so many. Um, but the ones that I have seen and the ones that I'm showing you right now look absolutely amazing. Like so the quality of the LEDs is pretty solid. But yeah, all in all, I think these lights look amazing. So let's take a look at how they look in my setup. All right, so as you guys can see, these lamps look pretty good in my setup. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have two of them so that I could have one on each side to keep the balance in my setup, but I love it. Like every time I hop on a Zoom meeting or even just doing things like this, people are always asking like, whoa, dude, that looks crazy. Like your setup looks nice. And I mean, to me, I feel like that's a big part of expressing who you are. Obviously, depending on your job, your Zoom setup may or may not be the most important thing in your life. But for me, I like to express myself um, through everything that I do. So these lights definitely help like set off the vibe that I, I love just around my own house. I have a lot of RGB on everything. My computer has RGB. I've got LED strips in the living room and the in my office everywhere. So these lights are like the perfect addition. You press the mode button here and 
to see. I can flip through all of the different colors that the light has available for me. This one here that just cycles a rainbow through all of the lights. Looks good, but you know, it might be a little distracting for your zoom setup, but there's a decent fix to that. Slow the speed down on all of the lights. I mean, that looks pretty good if you ask me. If I saw this in the back of somebody else's setup, I would be like, wow, that person definitely cares a lot about this zooming. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that I wanted to work on with these lights is I wanted to find a way to incorporate them into my everyday business. As a video producer, I'm always looking for new and cheap ways to add a little bit of extra flair to my videos. I know we've all seen different types of LED tube lighting and stuff like that. Um, and, but they're extremely expensive. So I took them on to a video set that I was doing with one of my friends, Ariel Capo Ventrano. Uh, definitely check him out. I'll have his music video linked in the description. So we were shooting in this money room. Obviously just the money room by itself already looked pretty cool, but I decided to take the LED lamps and stick them in the corners and turn on a nice trailing strobing effect. I don't know exactly what you would call it. I think the shot looks pretty good. Um, I'll have it playing right now so that you can see it and let me know what you think about it. Over the course of the next few weeks, I'm definitely gonna be taking these lights and trying to find more creative ways to include them in my setups and just in my overall video production. I would love to bring you guys on this journey with me. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so that you're always aware of when I post new content. Thank you guys for sticking with me for this long. Have a good day and peace.